My name is Lynn Lichwona Carlton from the Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences in Sweden. We have been here at C4 for the past three days having a workshop on conducting a systematic review on gender, forest and food security. We have partnered together with various uh, partners and colleagues from the International Institute of Environment and Development, from the Stockholm Environmental Institute, from the Lilongwe University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, as well as civil society farmer organization activists. We have spent the past three days trying to formulate the research question, which is looking at gender disparities in understanding the access as well as the use of forest assets in attaining household food security. The systematic review will enable us to evaluate the available evidence and to draw conclusions from what we find in the analysis of the available evidence as to what some of the gaps or what some of the issues that still need addressing are. It brings together the potential of combining the various partners that is conducting these systematic reviews in, in order to establish a basis for having evidence to inform policy. And the role of SLU here becomes even stronger as we connect with C4. Well, as the coordinator of the, the research group Gender and Forestry, um, I find it uh, extremely important that this uh, review, systematic review, is carried out. Um, you see, UFRO is a network of researchers and research organizations. Uh, the activities within UFRO very much depends on uh, activities and initiatives uh, taken by member organizations and researchers and this is a really great initiative. It can uh, and I see that there are um, basically two ways or maybe say maybe three ways of doing it. One is uh, uh, at the uh, the sessions, the technical sessions, uh, but also more generally um, by organizing, for example, a gender cafe that can take place all days throughout the conference. Uh, and maybe this will be the most important forum for dissemination because still gender issues is um, by many perceived as a women's issue or something that has a very particular interest. It's not regarded as kind of a cross-topic, cross-sectoral, um, cross-business or issue, an issue that, that covers uh, most of the, um, the disciplines within forestry. It does not go only with um, human resources, it has an impact on silviculture, it has an impact on uh, forest technology and so on. Much. Uh, my name is Isil Danyan Tumbu. Uh, I work for the International Institute for Environment and Development. I work mainly on trade-related issues, including uh, gender and how it is reflected in the policies as well as in the implementation of red on the ground. And we are undertaking uh, case studies in six countries, um, uh, Mozambique, uh, Tanzania, Nepal, Vietnam, Peru and Guatemala, in order to, for us to understand how gender mainstreaming in the RED strategy is being 
uh, undertaken and also to understand the link between the drivers of forest deforestation and forest degradation with commodities and uh, by using value chain analysis to understand who plays what role and, and who benefits or, or is likely to be a loser in that process. We will be able to draw on, on that wealth of knowledge that the, the review will bring and inform the studies that we are, we are conducting. And we have um, uh, planned, for example, a conference um, to look at gender uh, linked with many aspects, uh, uh, gender in the context of uh, urbanization and food security, uh, gender and land issues, uh, as well as uh, the link between gender and climate change. And uh, I guess I also think that is a platform which uh, any results or preliminary results produced from this could be shared. And we also produce uh, policy briefs. Um, we, we, we hope that um, we can uh, bring some of the results uh, from this scientific-based study um, to a more policy-oriented audience. I'm Caroline Ochieng. I'm a research fellow at Stockholm Environment Institute working on energy. researchers liking to focus on one discipline. So I'm an energy person or a gender person or a food security person. So we work separately and we don't link together in a way that enables us to explore the issues jointly, which is something that this systematic review is addressing and in a very unique way because you are looking at three different topics, that's gender, forests and food security bringing in people from different disciplines and expertise in the issue and that ensures that, that at the end of the review the, the recommendations that come out consider all the three issues together and come up with concrete ways of addressing it. Normally again there's a focus to do research and forgetting the communication component of it so then uh, an output of research being a journal publication, for instance, how many policymakers get access to those journals or how many people in developing countries. So I think we would need to find innovative ways of communicating with policymakers and practitioners around these issues. So if it's policy briefs, for instance, that's something that ACI is a very keen on in terms of linking research to policy and practice and maybe awareness sessions with the policy makers to and the, this should not just come at the end of the research but it should be an ongoing engagement so that whatever review we are doing is actually addressing the needs of the stakeholders then they would be more receptive of the findings so I, I think with this review, we are, it's sort of setting up a model that others should replicate, starting with the needs assessment, then delving into the research, and then going back to the stakeholders and letting them know of the output. My name is David Nkwambisi, uh, the Programs Coordinator from Lirongo University of Agriculture and Natural Resources and I'm also a senior lecturer in environment and development. It will help us to revise the research agenda that we have for the university, but also the process has given us the capacity to, to help the faculties to review the curriculum so that we can incorporate issues that have been discussed here. We are also hoping that uh, we might have uh, new programs depending on the systematic review that we have here. In addition, I think this process will help the investor to start producing policy briefs that can be used by several stakeholders, not only in Malawi, but also maybe in the region. My name is Ngoli Akimanzu. Yeah, I have worked with farmers' organizations, farmers' movements, smallholder farmers' organizations in the area of forestry, agroforestry development to strengthen their positions in the market value chains.
for us in the civil society who are actually part of this uh, review, we look at the, upon this as a very important exercise, all the, the information that will be uh, collected and we will disseminate it through our various channels. You know we are part of the global farmers movements. There are several meetings that they hold every year. Those are very important channels. We also have like uh, communication strategies in the different civil society movements. So we look at every opportunity to make sure that the results of this work are uh, disseminated. We also know, for instance, many um, development organizations at the UN level, they recognize the importance of farmers' organizations. Just to quote an example, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, they have an, an annual farmers' conference in Rome uh, around February of every year. So we will look at that an important venue to disseminate this important. And I know also that there have been uh, several, you know, you know, in movements and, and initiatives on, on the question of gender, even at the World Bank level. And they also call meetings uh, for civil society. So we'll use all those different channels to disseminate the, um, this finding. I want to say a big thank you for Peter. I wouldn't be doing this interview if it wasn't for him. And I would also want to say thank you to Lily and Jessica. Um, the, basically the whole big part of this and we wouldn't be doing anything about forest assets and as access. I wouldn't be saying anything about that right now if it weren't for them. And thank you to Lucilia, um, because I wouldn't even be in Indonesia right now. Well, I learned that um, everything's quite serious and Gender is basically um, women's rights and wrongs and men's rights and wrongs. And far as access and assets, assets means um, that you, the far, different types of forests in different places. And um, the access just means that you can access to forests. Um, food security is um, when people eat anything like berries, bananas. And well, I took this uh, morning session of exercises um, and it really got them going instead of just sitting there for the whole day. So I call them EE, energizing exercises, and it's really fun to teach them. <laughs> <laughs>